Control the robotic arm in the simulation environment. Need to install ROS? After configuring the environment, you can operate the robotic arm in the simulation. First download the corresponding package on GitHub and extract them in the home directory. Create a unitary underscore WS folder in the home directory and create a SCR folder in it. Then put the unitary underscore rows file and unitary underscore legged underscore msgs into the unitary underscore ws slash scr slash directory. Open the terminal in the unitary underscore ws directory and initialize the row space. Update the environment variables. Open the gazebo simulation interface. Open the CMakeLists file under the Z1 underscore controller folder. Change compilation conditions. Open a new terminal here and compile Z1 underscore controller. After compiling, an executable file of Z1 underscore control will appear. By default, it is controlled through the SDK. If you need to use keyboard control directly, you can execute slash Z1 underscore control K. At this point, you can control the robotic arm through the keyboard. For example, Press the number key 2 to enter the joint space control mode. Long press the D key, joint 2 reverses. The specific operation and status can be viewed. The following demo is controlled by SDK. It is normal to print a warning here. Because we have not started the robotic arm SDK to communicate with the robotic arm controller. Open a new terminal and compile Z1 underscore SDK.
After compilation is complete, there will be three executable files. Here we take the implementation of Heimd underscore basic as an example. Simulation effects will be affected by computer performance. Here it doesn't work very well because of the virtual machine used. During runtime, you can open the terminal of Z1 underscore controller to view the print information. A detailed description of the SDK can be found in the following document. Thanks for watching.